Something's changed. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Taste Test Tuesday, a brand new looking Taste Test Tuesday, ready for 2020. Well, that's scary. But a lot has changed and there will be a video coming up at the end of the week, explaining everything, showing everything. So if that's something that you'd be interested in looking at, subscribe and look out for a video at the end of the week. So although it doesn't look like it from me and the set, Christmas is coming, it's December. Nice. So I thought I'd go to the shop and see if I could find some interesting looking Finnish Christmas candy to try and uh, I think I succeeded. But I think in this little mixture that I have, I've got some classic stuff, I've got some new stuff for 2019 Christmas. Uh, but either way, I haven't tried any of them before. So yeah, without any more talking, let's crack into it. And speaking of cracking into something, I think I'm gonna try these first. So from what I can gather, these are Moomin Christmas tree decoration chocolates. For this, I'm expecting your standard kind of advent calendar chocolate. So kind of as expected, you get a little chocolate bauble with a piece of string so you can attach it to your tree. When's the right time to eat the candy that's on the Christmas tree? Is it like when all the other good stuff is gone or do you just like walk past the tree and just like, mm-hmm, free candy. Getting rid of the foil and inside we got this little round bauble. I kind of wanted there to be something inside, like a little moomin character, but I don't think so. I think these were quite cheap, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. It's hollow. It's advent calendar chocolate, but as far as I'm concerned, that's a good thing. So inside here, there's different shapes. There's the ball ball one. There's like a bell one. Only one, only one bell. And like a egg shaped one, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. Basic, no frills. You know what you're getting into when you buy this. Uh, and it's great just to run past the tree and grab one, shove it in your face. Three out of five. Why not, it's Christmas. Okay, that is the basic one out of the way. All right, let's jump into a classic one of what at least I think is a classic one. This. So this is by Panda and this is Yolubuki. Toffee Nougat. A little picture of Father Christmas on the front. Feeling Christmassy already. All right, so in here they're all the same. <sighs> that actually takes me back. That. That's quite a nostalgic smell for me. Maybe there's something similar in the UK. Takes a few seconds for the, the flavor to kick in. At first I was like, this just tastes like cardboard. Might as well just bite into this. But then afterwards, there is a little flavor kicking in there. I'll finish it. Now I'm gonna try the Yolo Pukki and this one, Ponto, side by side. See if, uh, see if there's one I prefer over the other. This one is Mansikka ya Banani. Try the red tontu mansikka. I love strawberry flavored chocolates. So I think I'm a little bit biased towards tontu on this one. The strawberry one's a little bit perfumey, but on the whole, not horrible. Now let's try the banana flavored one. Yeah, smells super <laughs> banana-y. Mm. Now a combination of the two. Mmm. I think I'm on the Yolo Pukki side for this one. Pontu tasted a little bit uh, perfumey and I don't really like banana flavored chocolate. Neither were fantastic, neither were horrible. Yolo Pukki gets a two and a half, Pontu gets a two. All right, next up we're gonna try this one and this one looks particularly interesting because of the, the flavor combination in this. So this is of course from Karl Fatza and this is the apple caramel and hazelnuts version of their classic bar. Apple, caramel, hazelnuts. All right, there's a lot going on there. I don't know if my, my little brain can handle that much. <sighs> Not much going on through the tin foil, folks. Okay, so it's a slightly darker chocolate than your, your usual fatsa sininen. Yes, dark chocolate. I do quite like dark chocolate, so maybe it's... Okay. First flavor is of course the dark chocolate, then the hazelnuts. Mmm, there's the apple right at the end. I'm getting like a sugar headache already. I need some water. So really the, the problem with this is that the dark chocolate is really overpowering. It is a really strong dark chocolate. So you can't really taste the other flavors. Oh, but it's the kind of, kind of chocolate that stays in your mouth and lingers. So my verdict is that it, it's nothing special. It looks nice, the packet's nice. 
um, but it's just really overpowering dark chocolate. If you don't like dark chocolate, don't buy this. Uh, two out of five. Okay, next up we are gonna try this. This is a, all right, next up we're gonna try this. This is a special edition Dumle. It's a seasonal edition with chewy toffee, chocolate, and a taste of cranberry caramel. Cram caramel cranberry. Toffee, caramel, cranberry, chocolate. Technically four flavors going on in here. Of course in their classic Dumle wrappers here. And there's milk chocolate in here, not dark. Mmm. I thought there was gonna be way too much going on flavor-wise on this one, but the cranberry really like, complements the caramel toffee and the chocolate, I guess. It's, uh, it's a winning combo. And very festive indeed. I would have another one, except I'm definitely starting to feel sick. So the Dumle taste of caramel cranberry is gonna get a four out of five. Okay, and next up, again, I'm gonna try these at the same time because they're similar. Here we have two seasonal truffles by the one and only Karl Fotzer. First here is the baked apple flavor and the second one is mandarin and ginger. I think I can pretty much tell you right now that the mandarin and ginger one is gonna taste like butts. I don't particularly like ginger so I mean, it, it's already starting behind. Okay, so this has like a little fancy box. All right, let's, let's do this the right way. So it says open here. Oh, 100% sustainable cocoa. Good for you, Fatsa. And on the inside here, it's got a little story of uh, Karl Fatsa. So maybe these could be good for any foreign friends. Maybe you want to introduce to, to Fatsa, although these aren't the traditional flavors, but still quite quite a nice little, little gift box. And then inside we reveal the chocolate. Holy moly. That really smells like baked apple. Haven't had many baked apples in my time, but from what I know, this smells like baked apple. Mmm. Mmm. That's like Christmas in a bite. In the in the back of your throat, there's a little cinnamon tickle. You know that little, maybe slight, not burn, but a little tickle there of cinnamon. I, I can only assume there's some kind of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. It's a flavor that really develops as you're chewing. It's like, at first it's, it doesn't really taste like much. And then you kind of get the truffly texture and then you get a little, little bit of a baked apple in there and then you get a little cinnamon at the end. Nice, nice little uh, experience there. Okay then. Fine, let's try the mandarin and ginger one. So same same uh, packaging here, same story. Yeah, you can really smell the ginger. And although I don't hate ginger, I'm just, I just would never choose it. I'll only ever choose it if I'm sick because ginger is of course like the most antioxidant filled thing in the world apparently. So I'd only ever choose it if I'm sick and I'd go to Jungle Juice and get something with ginger in, but I wouldn't choose it knowingly. But let's try this, mandarin and ginger. First you get a really nice taste of mandarin. Like a orangey, mm. On your tongue you can feel the, the ginger, you know, slight burn. But I wouldn't say burn, like it grips your tongue a little bit, the ginger flavor. I really like them. I eat my words and I'll eat more of these later. Oh, just sick. I am pleasantly surprised by these two seasonal truffles by Fatsa. And against all odds, I'm gonna say that I prefer the mandarin and ginger one. The ginger flavor was very, very subtle, which is a good thing in my opinion. And the mandarin flavor hits you right at the start. Really, really like that. And the baked apple one was great too. The baked apple one, I think tastes more Christmassy. So if you're going for something for a Christmas table or something, I would maybe choose this. It's just a little bit more, you know, festive. But you know what? There's not actually that much to choose between them. Uh, I'm gonna give them both four out of fives. Now I think if I had to choose a favorite from today's taste test, it will have to be the Dumla Caramel Cranberry Flavored Special Edition. It's just like a, a little festive twist on a, a Finnish classic and I really like this. Really good, have this for your Christmas table. It'll certainly be on mine, along with these two actually. I think, 
could also be there. The other ones I, I wasn't so fussed about. But there we have it guys, that is a little taste of Finnish Christmas candy. If you have anything that you can suggest for me to try, maybe another video before Christmas, let me know in the comments down below. Is there something on your Christmas candy table? Without fail, let me know in the comments. And don't forget there will be a video later on this week explaining all the changes that you're seeing around me and what's behind the camera as well. There's quite a lot of different stuff going on now and yeah, quite exciting, like new video series and, and stuff like that coming in 2020, along with all these other changes. So yes, look forward to that video and subscribe if you are new around here. But otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.